Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Actually filling up diesel in the Sprinter here at Pilot. Pilot, Flying J, partner of the channel, sponsor of this video. I'm actually down here a little ways from home. Still beautiful though. Not a bad little view from Travel Center parking lot. I actually came to pick up a couple 200 watt solar panels uh, that I'm gonna drop off on my property before going and meeting up with Talon, Jake, and some friends to do a little camping. But first, filling up. So if you do get the Pilot app, then you can also obviously look up all your pilots. There's all kinds of promotions going on and you also save 10 cents off every gallon of gas. So you just scan that right at the pump and you save. Real quick, common courtesy thing, once you're done pumping gas, then just go find a parking spot and then go in. So that way you're not clogging up a pump. But that's just kind of what I like to do, especially if I'm gonna go inside, take a leak, grab some snacks, get a bite to eat. So Pilot's well known for having super clean and well-stocked bathrooms. This one actually even had Gojo hand cleaner, that kind of gritty stuff that gets oil and grease off a little easier. They always have showers. Those are super popular with truckers or RVers or people spending a lot of time on the road. And I always stop into their kind of food court area where they have a bunch of hot food, uh, pizza always, wings, and they have some kind of specialty sandwiches and burgers and things depending on the time of year. Those are almost always home runs uh, from what I've had. And then drinks, of course, soda machines, giant cups naturally, ices, uh, a lot of specialty drinks over here and various flavors of coffee. I'll usually stop in this station, get a mocha or just coffee with usually some extra creamer. I'm a pretty big introvert, so I usually just grab my coffee and food, come back and eat it in the van. This time I got a smoked barbecue brisket burrito and some Cajun wings. Oh man, let me tell you, 10 out of 10. I may go back in and grab some to bring Ashley, honestly, because she'll love this. She'll love that. As always, Pilot, thank you for keeping me fueled for the road. Oh, it's bright back there. Here's Ashley. Here's Ashley's belly. You guys want to see that probably, right? We are headed out on a camping trip. Ashley has a rare night at home by herself, and she's like, eh, too fat. I don't really feel like going camping, so she's not actually coming. But by happenstance, she was here in the old Conifer King Supers parking lot. My exposure's too high, I think. But we're here with a stupid lineup of vehicles. Got two of Talon's, we got Jake. You'll, you'll meet the rest of the crew, some friends of Talon, Dave over there. Uh, I just wanted to do an intro, because I always forget to do these things before the adventure. But we're gonna go on a little camping trip, have a little fun, sit by the campfire, have a nice little break, have a heart to heart, and yeah, we're getting ready to go, so I'll catch up in a bit. Hey guys, so we made it to camp here. I didn't film much because uh, I, was, I was busy eating my grocery store sush. But Towns Van got a new wrap. Let me just show you around. This is Dave. You've probably seen him on Towns' channel. He's like famous. Apparently he was the, he was Talon's Talon's boss back in the day and he said now Talon's kind of famous and now Talon bullies him around so Could go uh, Go pick on Talon in the comments on his video, which is surely out before mine Because <laughs> it always is um, Who wants to actually work once they're done filming? Yeah, I don't know. Talon's an overachiever over here But here's his van new wrap. This is his camo. I don't really know what he's doing with it but you could find out over there. He's got some little orange. He's got like the, the orange. The orange. I got the orange. Orange bros. Looks pretty good actually. We both got the little hammock system in the front. Orange bros. 
This is Talon's side, if you don't know. Apparently, Talon and I have never camped together with both of our sprinters uh, since I got the new Jayco Terrain. So this is kind of the first time they're together. Talon also brought his Tacoma with the Kimbo on it. So Talon and Ashley are gonna actually be sleeping in that one. There's Jakey Jakey, Lucid Wraps. And he's got his Tacoma. It was a pretty casual kind of last minute trip. So we came to one of the easy spots that kind of we know and is easy to get to and relatively quick for us. So we are here set up. Uh, we just kind of pulled in to check out the spot and we just kind of stopped there and then put some rocks under our tires to get a little bit more level, leveled out. So that's what we got going on. I need to vacuum this thing out. Oh, jacket on the ground. But I think we we're going kind of lazy tonight. So we're gonna have a bunch of hot chocolate and some ramen. We got dog patrol out here. And then I brought a little fire put, a little firewood from home here as well. So maybe we will make a fire and grab an ax. What'd we get? I think it's the husk that I grabbed. The husk. Cool. All right, I'm gonna get set up finish eating my late lunch. There's Ashley. Ashley Nicole. The other Ashley Nicole. I don't know if you knew this, but Ashley Nicole and my wife's Ashley Nicole as well. Probably the most common. I was gonna say, super basic white girl name. Basic white girls unite. <laughs> All right. Well, sun is down. Some pretty nice colors going on. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can see on the screen, uh, but not a cloud in the sky. So I don't think we're gonna get any crazy sunsets or anything going on, but should be a good night. It's already getting kind of cold. All right, unfortunately, Dave hurt himself with the Husqvarna ax that I keep quite sharp. Uh, so we already cleaned this out with soap and water. But I didn't film it, so we're gonna have to do it again. No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, we're <laughs> totally joking. So we cut off a little, <laughs> we cleaned it, irrigated it, right. soap oh, wait, and water, cleansed doing? it up, and then now we're taping some quick clot, clot. So quick clot has like a, whatever, coagulant, anti-hemorrhage agent in there. Basically what happened, I don't think I said it, Dave cut off the tip of his finger. <laughs> Not like the whole, not the whole tip, like a millimeter of a tip. He's comfortable being filmed though. Anyway, this is the, this is the night's action. Luckily, between Talon and myself and probably Jake, we have like a dozen medical kits, so. What tip? Came prepared. So, he's been keeping it elevated and now we're just getting a bunch of pressure on it. Maybe bust out a little finger condom for him in a bit and we'll report back in the morning whether we need to fully amputate this baby or not but the thing we know is that the axe is sharp enough for the task so wish Dave luck feel free to make fun of him in the comments he said it's fun <laughs> this is a recovery recovery Dave's Venmo recovery fund up here or a, yeah go fund me dude it's yeah it's like not even leaking through with blood we, we do good work around here. We do good work around here. No, I'm filming. Oh, you're filming. No, I'm not joking. I'm joking. What do you got? Jack and Coke? Jack and Coke. A little yeah. Jack and you Coke. Jim Beam and Coke. You should give him the testes. I... Oh, I make him do a test on this <laughs> channel, too. I, I was inspired by my Christmas gift for video where I had Nog and Burby, so recreated it. Dave's having some too. Yeah, I'm excited about He that. had like big, big milk mustache of eggnog. Oh, it's still there a little bit. 
It's nice. It's very nice. All right, gonna make our way back to the fire. Dave's fingers all wrapped up. It didn't bleed through the gauze, so that's good. Jake's warming his butt. My butt. And we're gonna make some, I'm gonna make some ramen anyway here in a second, but gonna warm up a little bit. Amber, what's up, girl? What you doing, girl? What's up, dog? Come on up here. Come on. Come up. Come on. Come on. Come on, Cam. Come on. Up. Up. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Mike, Mike in the microwave. Microwave. Wow, you have a microwave? I got air fryer, baby. Air frying convection microwave. This ain't even camping. It is camping, 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 camping. What you got there? I got uh, fiery beef, hot and spicy roms, babe. Yeah. yeah. You gonna heat up your stofers? I was thinking about it, yeah. You need a microwave? What? I got a microwave if you need it. This is the third long cooked meal. We got going on on the microwave. We're at about 95%. Been running the diesel heater all night. Temps dropped a little bit because I've just been hanging out with the door open here. Well, we got some stofers for Dave going on here. His finger also hasn't, blood hasn't gone through yet. So it's been pretty good. So yesterday he broke his finger. Well, probably just a real bad jam. <laughs> Trying to catch a football. He's not the most uh, athletic guy. I'm, no, I'm just kidding. Super <laughs> athletic. Yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, I'm he's talking guy. about doing backflips and Superman front flips, and he's just had a series of unfortunate events on this trip out to Colorado. I don't huh? Care about caution. Yeah, caution to the wind. Caution to the wind. He's trying to make some kindling for the fire and just just couldn't quite cut it. Well, he did cut it. He did cut it. We got some. We got some stofers in here. It's a five-minute microwave. It's How going many down. watts is your microwave? It's eleven hundred. Is it? Yeah. Damn, it's the big boy. Yeah, it's not bad. It's got convection and air fryage as well. So we'll see how it does. Lamping at its finest. Dude, it's not bad. Your nudes are getting cold. Yeah, I gotta eat them. All right, so we got the uh, Nissin hot and spicy fiery beef. It's been cooling down a little bit here. Let's see. At least yours yeah. still has all the body parts. Mm. It's good. It's good. This is authentic because I made it and I'm Asian. <laughs> So it makes it a little better. I made towns for him and normally he makes it and it's not as good, but I made it. It's quite tasty, he says. I'm kind of jealous. Now Dave's American food, I am half American as well. So it is still authentic. Whoa, that's cool. Yeah, both worlds. Do your viewers like when you're getting like zo you're zoomed in on, like do they want to be up close with you or do they want to be far away? What are viewers like? Your mic's backwards. Left oh, your there. mic is backwards. Uh, yeah. They're only listening to me, so I have to just. I'll vo I'll vo I'll voice over for you. Hold on, start talking. Okay. So we're having. <laughs> <laughs> pull it out here. Uh huh. Ooh, That's what we're warm. good at. Oh, it's steaming. It's steaming. What would you guys rather eat? Instant ramen. Or cooked plastic. Look at that steam off there. Yeah. Oh, it's in it's in gravy too. 
All right, Dave. Well, enjoy this meal that I slaved over. Yeah, hey, I appreciate your microwave, dude. Now gotcha. that we're using your microwave. Okay. All <laughs> oh. Right. All right. Wait, hold on. That's stir fry. Oh man, that's gonna taste really good. Korean barbecue, baby. <laughs> you know what's up. You know what's up. Yeah. Jake loves Koreans. I do. I'm like this him. guy behind the camera. He's a racist. <laughs> Jake. He's a what is it? An ally. Oh, I An got Asian you. ally. I got you. All right. What do we got here? How many minutes? Ah, uh, just holy moly. <sighs> Literally none of this is going into your video. <laughs> it's all going in, dude. I put it in. All right, we are wrapping it up for the night. Uh, cool little spot here. Kind of you can see between the two vans parked where the doors open up. So Ash was kind of running a, <laughs> they're making bracelets, I guess, out of their van. And she was kind of on hot chocolate patrol, just using my little electric kettle. So the electric kettle here, and then I was basically microwaving everyone's dinner tonight while we kind of just chatted around the campfire here. So it's an amazingly comfortable setup, which I don't hate on at all, obviously, because I'm using it. But I know a lot of people are like, oh, there's too much modern luxuries. It's not even. Oh, it's still camping. Yeah. Because the main thing I like about camping is sitting around a campfire and just hanging out with friends and kind of eating food and looking at the stars. We all saw a bunch of shooting stars tonight, so that was fun. And yeah, I think I'll talk about more tomorrow, why I like camping, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up, uh, burn this fire out, throw some water on it, and then call it for the night. So catch you guys in the morning. Yes. <laughs> um, Did you get that off film? <laughs> Mike? Good morning, Dave. How'd you sleep? So good. How's your finger? No. It hasn't bled through yet, huh? It's still pretty good. Is it aching? No, not so much anymore. It was in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, I was just like, oh! <laughs> Poor Dave. Poor Dave. How's the weather out there? It's actually really nice. I I put on shorts. Ooh, size shorts. Yeah, size shorts. Dang. Dude, those are my favorite shorts. To see you can there. get these at your local Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> Just go there and ask for size shorts. So, what are your plans for today, Mike? Hmm. Make some breakfast. Okay. What does that What does that mean? I got a little microwavable, like egg and bacon and cheese bowl. Okay. There. And. I don't know. All right. Go home at some point. Sure. What are your plans for the day? I'm going to do whatever Talon tells me. <laughs> Talon, you got to be nice to Dave. No, he doesn't. got to be nice to you. What is he doing? Ooh. I'm I need so to change nice to I need to change our ISO here. And they're the two best friends that anyone could have as long as you're in the camping YouTube community. <laughs> Breakfast a lot of times I'll just bring these little guys here microwavable. You can make them in a skillet too, but since I got the microwave, that's how. So these things, pretty easy. Uh, they're just in the like frozen food section. Though, they're usually not actually frozen. I put them in the freezer. So this thing was rock solid frozen. So I put it in front of the little heater and now it's melted. So you just pour that into this cup and then microwave it. And the end goal, end result is little breakfast bowl. Usually add some hot sauce, like some Cholula. Then I make smoothies at home a lot, but then on the road I'll usually just grab something like this. Blue Machine's my jam. What's yours? All right, we're wrapping, we're wrapping it up in the hammock. Dave's watching me. That looks like some high quality filming you're doing there. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at the YouTube can't, filming. Can't We're wrapping up oh, here. And I've been using this little front hammock thing a surprising amount. The adventure hammock system, which is just like a hitch mounted thing. 
pretty sweet. Uh, packing up the old BioLite fire pit and gonna be on our way. Uh, I'll probably do a wrap up back home, back home in the old driveway. But let's show around here real quick. So we got Jake from Lucid Wraps, his truck. He ran a little diesel heater up into the tent. Here's the inside of the Kimbo and Talon's butt. Here Talon, give a little tour. Here, here's the tour. Got the bed up here, some storage. I removed my air conditioner unit and put a Anchor 757 in its place. This runs the rest of the power. A little spot to sit, shower basin to take a shower. You can hang shower curtain up here. Got a vent cover. Added some storage nets. Little pantry. Tiny Dometic fridge here. Little hand pump sink. Propane stove and a little closet. What I really need to do is get the Dometic pump that Mike has. And I want to pull this out and put the electric pump there. Because that would be pretty cool. Do you have any secondhand Dometic pumps? I think I'm going to put one of those electric Dometic pumps you have. I'm going to put one of those on the sink in the Kimbo. They're only like a hundred bucks, right? That'd be sweet. Yeah, they're pretty rad because they just hook into a water tank. Yeah. What do you use for water in there? Thanks for the tour, Talon. Pretty slick little setup. Super cozy in there. We've got the back of the van. I got the the bed pushed up. So I got the bench here. This is the thing I just built. It has a table hookup. Bunch of storage inside here and then the microwave. Then I got some storage kind of netting here and then bungee to where basically I can store a bunch of gear on top of this and kind of keep it secure. Usually we'll have the dog bed here kind of taking up most of this back space. <laughs> Let's see how we did on power. We're at 79%, ran a bunch of microwave lights all night, diesel heater all night, kettle, microwave this morning. So the Jayco battery system's awesome, awesome. So here we are actually a couple weeks later, honestly. I think Talon probably posted his video like two weeks ago. But I decided to film the outro in the van to be like situationally correct. And I just wanted to kind of chat about some things that I feel like chatting about. One, sorry I haven't been doing as much camping as I would like to myself and as much as you would probably like to see it. I've just been super busy and I'm probably taking a little hiatus from camping because uh, I have a baby. Ashley and I's baby is due in a month. So it could come early, it could come late. Uh, so I'm probably just not going anywhere where I'll be out of cell service for a while in case there's any issues or the baby comes early or whatever. So probably this is the last camping video you'll see from me for the year. Uh, and then I'll pick back up next year. And I'll do more exciting stuff. I'm just busy, completely and entirely overwhelmed, stressed out all the time with this house build that is coming at a horrible time. Uh, but the house build probably a couple months away from being done-ish, hopefully. So we'll be in a new new place there, getting it set up. And I'll continue trying to crank out videos once a week because I that is what I do. I'm a man of my word. I made a promise to myself that I basically try to make a video every week for the indefinite future. So yeah, but what I wanted to talk about, what I want to talk about is camping. So being on uh, YouTube, social media stuff, I hear a lot of hatred and a lot of negativity and a lot of negative comments and a lot of people putting out their opinions as fact. And I just want to tell you, being a guy that has camped from every every end of the spectrum on in the dirt, backpacking under the stars with a tarp uh, to camping in a climate controlled memory foam bed, which is amazing by the way. Uh, I, I just want to say like camping is whatever, like whatever 
makes you enjoy nature, whatever helps you disconnect, whatever you really enjoy doing, whatever helps you spend time with friends or family, whatever helps you just kind of break the routine. Uh, there isn't as, as much as people like to tell you that there's a certain way to do it. There's not, I mean, as long as you're, you know, not being a dickhead, not and you're staying on the trail and you're not causing forest fires and you're not having campfires during fire bands and you're not leaving the place a mess and you're picking up your trash. There are some things that you should be doing. Uh, but beyond some of those like black and white issues, if you want to make top ramen, make top ramen. If you want to slave for six hours, making a five course meal, slave for six hours making a five course meal do whatever you want if you want to sleep in a ground tent sleep in a ground tent if you want to go in a rooftop tent go in a rooftop tent if you want to take a an airstream out with you take an airstream out with you if you want to get a get a van a jaco terrain four by four and kit it out and take it out just down a dirt road that any minivan could go on and have some fun around the campfire then do it there's a lot of people that will tell you this or that but honestly I've camped all kinds of different ways and I enjoy all of it. So there's not one right way or one wrong way or whatever. So if you aspire to be a van lifing RV type camper, that's awesome. If you're like, I don't want to do that. I just want to rough it. That's awesome too. That's just something I wanted to get off my chest because I hear so many people telling me and telling other people like how you should do something. And I'm just like, there's not really uh, a right or wrong way to camp, my man. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. That's really all I wanted to say. But man, I had a good time. I just love, I love sitting around a campfire and I love just going back into your tent or the van and just laying down and just falling asleep and just breaking the routine up with getting out there and away from home. And I'm a, that's saying a lot because I'm a homebody. I love I love being home. I like traveling, but I love being home as well. So uh, breaking up that routine is always good. Uh, I'm hoping once Ashley has baby and we have newborn, obviously there will be a little transition there and we'll have to figure out how to camp with a newborn. But Ashley has been dying to get out camping, but at the same time she's just is achy and feels crappy and doesn't want to get up into a rooftop tent and do, you know, she just, she likes to be at home during this last last trimester of her pregnancy but yeah don't worry we'll get back out there it'll be a new dynamic we'll have a newborn on our hands so if you have any newborn camping tips tricks leave them down below i am all ears so yeah i'd love to hear from you okay thanks for watching thumbs up button get subscribed to the channel all those kinds of things uh i'm gonna be filming a video probably today maybe tomorrow about what I think goes into a good daily driver, the prepared daily driver. So if you want to chime in on questions or comments about that subject matter, let me know ASAP down below because I may have already filmed the video, but I'd love to I'd love to hear some feedback or hear what you want me to talk about in that video. Cool. All right. Until next time, guys. Take care.